Good evening, and welcome to the Bremen Band Spring Concert. We hope you enjoyed our first song entitled Fanfare Curiosity. Our next three pieces focus on small ensemble groupings and feature our ruins and brass assembly. 
Kenzo Consonaire No. 4 by Giovanni Gabrielli was written in the style of Venetian school at the time when music was shifting from Renaissance to Baroque style. Entrada by Pezzel was written during the classical era and is a great example of brass writing and harmonic structure at the time. Fugue and E-flat, while short, is a fantastic example of Bach's counterpoint composition and interweaving of melodic lines. We hope you enjoy.
This little bug has been, oh, there we go. <laughs> Our next selection is Symphonic Scherzo by Franz Schubert. This piece is, in fact, the minuetto movement of Schubert's Symphony No. 5. Schubert, who was influenced by his Austrian origin, related the movement to the peasant-based Langler. The earthiness of this dance, coupled with Schubert's sweet melodic gift, makes for a stirring and emotional listening experience. We hope you enjoy Symphonic Scherzo. <laughs>
our next two pieces feature two exceptional musicians in our band, as well as one of our beloved alumni. As a junior, Tyson Washington has already begun to show great skill in musical composition as well as proficiency in playing the bass clarinet. Last month, Tyson participated in solo and ensemble and received a superior rating for his performance of Andante and Allegro from Sonata No. 5 by Johann Gallier. Here is Tyson Washington performing the Allegro movement with accompanist Miss Brandon Andrews. Bassoon and piano explores the bassoon's tonal warmth and playfully technical capabilities. Inspired by a trip to Colorado in January of 2022, this piece translates the snowy landscapes Eli observed while driving along Trail Ridge Road, a section of U.S. Highway 34 that runs through the heart of Rock Mountain National Park. The piece's chromatic exploration and rhythmic interplay calls back to neoclassical and 20th century French composers. The premiere of Trail Ridge Road at the Emory Spring 2022 Composition Showcase will soon be followed by performances at Western Carolina University in glickman Popkin Bassoon Camp. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Johnson on bassoon, accompanied by Vivian Zell, performing Eli Parrish's Trail Ridge Road with US 34. <laughs> Thank you. 
What a wonderful night. What an absolutely wonderful night. Great group of kids, right? I mean, give it up. Over the course of the past, uh, past year, we've had some outstanding things happen in our band. Uh, we had a number of students, uh, if you will stand when I call your name, that made District Honor Band this year for District 7 Honor Band. Miss Anna Sapp, Leslie Gordon, Jordan Johnson, Lily Van Brock, Eugene Shin, and Ashley Emerson. We also had two young students that made Allstate this year, one of them for like the seventh year in a row, and one of them for like the seventh year in a row. These guys are just amazing. Ashley Emerton and Eugene Shin. In just the past few months, we've had a lot of wonderful activity also with our band students. Uh, we had one band student, Morgan Wheeler, a Corvette Strum and Bugle Corps. Morgan, great job. Ms. Yujin Shin made the Kiwanis Showcase Statewide Music Finals. <laughs> and our Tyson Washington was named um, one of the collegiate, excuse me, one of the challenge finalists for the National Young Composers Competition this year. Great job, Tyson. <laughs> He's our resident Bach. First time I met Tyson, he walked up and he said, Mr. Jindrick, uh, can you explain to me Basso Continuo? He was a freshman. And I said, uh, what are you talking about? He said, my favorite composer, Bach. Can, can you explain that to me? I was like, sure, Tyson. <laughs> okay. And then I found out he has perfect pitch and he's absolutely awesome. So it's great having him with us. Um, our band would like to present uh, a great amount of things. Um, and we actually have a plaque. Uh, Mr. Andy Bryan, would you come up? I don't know if you're out in the house, you should be. I think you are. Um, we'd like to present a plaque for uh, Trinum Drafting and Design. Um, and the they went above and beyond supporting our band this year. And um, this is just a thank you. Uh, it's not enough of a thank you, but it is a thank you. And it says, an appreciation for your outstanding support to the Bremen Band Program presented at Trinum Drafting and Design uh, 2022. Thank you, sir. on our last uh, concert of the year to um, recognize our band seniors that are in the house. Um, so if you're in the back in your percussion, if you, you know, give away because I know you're probably already standing, oh, you're standing, so you'll stand. Gabe Bell, Rosalind Gray, Madison Denman, Ashley Emerton, Garrett Hutter, Jordan Johnson, Trey Eubanks, Hayden Morris, Eugene Shaw, Hannah Skidmore, and Brayden Wilder. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Established three years ago, and since then, past recipients have gone on to college to pursue, mu pursue musical excellence and prestige. And I'm confident this year's recipient will continue this important tradition. As a member of the Bremen Marching Band, this instrumentalist served as section leader. She not only sat principal of the Bremen Band, she's participated in state and district honor bands, where she received two consecutive years of principal placement in Georgia's All State Band. Outside of Freeman, she performed with college-level musicians at the University of West Georgia, at the Interlochen Music Summer Intensive, and as a member of the Atlanta Youth Wind Ensemble. And on a more personal note, this person has helped create an accepting and loving community in the band, which is just as important as her extensive accomplishments. 
and with her plans to pursue music education at the University of, what, of Georgia. I couldn't be happier to announce that the 2022 recipient of the J.S. Bach Award and Scholarship is Ms. Ashley Emerton. shown outstanding musicianship in the area of band. Um, this year's recipient of the Director's Award not only shows outstanding musicianship, um, he is just an outstanding young man. Um, he has the highest morals. Um, he's always there when needed. He is a catalyst for, uh, for this band to move forward uh, with a great heart and a great spirit. Um, he's always kind, always willing to help his fellow band members, and um, I guess the best way to say it, he's just a great guy. Um, and like I said, on top of that, as you've heard tonight, he's just an outstanding musician. Uh, this year's Director's Award goes to Jordan Jones. <laughs> This evening is our John Philip Sousa Award. The John Philip Sousa Award is presented throughout the United States in almost all band programs. Um, it is going. It goes to the most outstanding graduating four-year senior of the band. Uh, it is the highest award that can be given to a band student in high school. Um, it's as prestigious as we can get, um, and it honors a student that um, is just an exceptional, outstanding musician. Uh, this year's John Philip Sousa Award goes to none other than Ashley Emerson. Well, it's been a great concert, and we really hope everyone has had... Wait a minute! Are you forgetting about something? What? It's Cinco de Mayo! How can you have a concert on Cinco de Mayo without playing something festive? I think we have something that will do perfectly. It has La Cucaracha, Cielito Lindo, which even has a mariachi trumpet part, Carmen, Carmela, and the Mexican hat dance. It's called Viva Mexico. Yep, that sounds like a great way to end out our concert. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone.
Thank <laughs> you.